this video we're going to take a look at the new Hornady Lock and Load Bullet Feeder. So if you've wanted to see this bullet feeder in action, here's your chance. In this video, we're going to load 45 ACP, so get ready. So in this video, we're going to cover the specifics of setting up the bullet feed die and loading 45 ACP on the Hornady Lock and Load with the new Hornady Lock and Load Bullet Feeder. So I've already got the press set up correctly uh, using the die station placement uh, that's covered as preferred on ultimatereloader.com. You can find more information about that setup and other possible setups with the bullet feeder by checking out the blog post on ultimatereloader.com slash Hornady. So I'm going to take the bullet feed die off and we'll quickly cover uh, what dies we've got set up and which stations. We've got in station number one the sizing depriming die. In station number two, we've got charging and expanding uh, combo with the new improved redesigned PTX expanders that work great with the bullet feed system. We've also got the powder measure bracket that allows us to dial in the setting for the PTX expander. I've also already set up the Hornady powder cop die. Now this is my preferred die placement because uh, basically we're seaming and crimping in station number five and that leaves station number three open for powder check, which with the bullet feeder is an important consideration because you're going so fast. So in station number four, we're gonna set up the bullet feed die. So this is just one die setup that you can use with the Hornady Lock and Load AP Progressive Press and Hornady Lock and Load Bullet Feed System. Next, let's take a look at how to set up the bullet feed die. Okay, so here we've got the components that make up the bullet feed die assembly. We've got the die body, collet A, collet B, and the adjustment screw. So to set this up, we're gonna install collet A, we're gonna install collet B, and we're going to uh, dial in the adjustment screw. Now what we wanna do here is tighten it until the adjustment screw touches the collet a and call it B assembly internally. We're just going to feel that hit and then we're going to back it off a half turn and then tighten the uh, adjustment lock screw here. And if we've set this up properly, we'll hear that little tinkling sound in there. That's the collets with just enough uh, room to move around. Now that we've assembled the bullet feed die, it's time to install it in the press. So, in station number four, I've got a lock and load bushing that's been installed. And what we're going to do is screw the die down. We've already got a 45 ACP case directly under the station that's indexed into position for station number four. What we're going to do is raise the ram with that case in the station where we're screwing the bullet feed die down. We're going to screw it down until we feel it touch the case. Okay, that's uh, that position. Now we're going to increase the uh, die depth, screw it down by another half turn, and then lock the ring. This is going to be our rough in. We're also going to uh, put the spring tube in place so that we can fill the hopper and fill the spring tube, the drop tube as it were, with bullets. Alright, so I've already set up the bullet feed wipers and the height of the feed plate, uh, the details of which we'll cover in detailed blog posts on the site and in other videos. Now that we've installed the bullet feed die, it's time to start up the bullet feeder and add some bullets. All right, so I've let the bullet feeder run for a while and we've filled up the drop tube. So now let's run some cases through to check our setup. I'm gonna go slowly and deliberately here until we're all the way around, just to take, make sure that our setup is been properly dialed in. Okay, so, so far so good. We're just about to feed our first bullet. And because we've dialed in our PTX expander correctly, the bullet is staying secure 
and we're ready to start loading progressively with the bullet feeder. All right, now that uh, we've demonstrated uh, the bullet feed action, let's turn our bullet feeder back on so that it uh, maintains the level of bullets in the drop tube. Well, there you have it. We've loaded some 45 ACP with the new Hornady Lock and Load Bullet Feeder. I hope you'll stay tuned on UltimateReloader.com as we walk through this product with other blog posts and videos. Thanks.